Hello there, everybody. This is Dan Calloway uh, coming to you from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. And today I want to talk about a server that I have running on my Windows 10 machine. Uh, it's a server that my good friend of mine, good mate of mine, uh, Backyard Tech, uh, Adam Swift from Australia, introduced me to uh, a long time ago. And I've been using it. Uh, I love I love it. Uh, I've got it set up where I uh, can access my Plex Media server from uh, both my smart TVs in the house, and um, I just I'm just really loving the experience. I've got even a Plex uh, server uh, media pass this month just to try it out, uh, so I can look at what they have to offer uh, on the outside as well. But I've downloaded a ton of videos. I've got a bunch of movies I've ripped. Um, I've added to the Plex media server, and um, I just upload them to. Um, the Plex Media Server, and then I can watch them on the big screen. Let me show you uh, the Plex Media Server, what I'm looking at here. So if, if I come over in Windows 10 Pro and click the up arrow, here's the Plex Media Server uh, right here. So if I right click and open Plex, it opens up the uh, Plex Media Server interface here in the browser. And um, I'll need to log into my account. I have an account set up there. So the Plex Web uh, has my username, which is my email address, and password. If I just go ahead and sign in, password's already embedded in it. And so it should come right up. And here it is. Okay, so this is the main screen uh, of the Plex Media Server. Um, if you come down here, here's the video section. Um, I'm going to be adding a video here under aviation and so videos aviation is what I'm going to be adding all right and this is the section for here um, so let's go out to the download folder here in Windows 10 Pro and there's the uh, video I downloaded a while back called shuttle Atlantis SDS 132 amazing shuttle launch I'm going to right click on this I'll show you how I add it to the Plex media server I'm going to right click. I'm going to use TerraCopy. TerraCopy is a copy utility. Um, instead of File Explorer, I use TerraCopy. I love it. It's TerraCopy 3.26. So I'm going to hit the Move button. And then I'm going to tell it where to uh, upload this video to. It's a fairly large video. Uh, and it is on the E drive, which is my Plex Media Server drive, under the Media folder under the video, videos subfolder and the aviation subfolder of that. So it's E colon backslash media videos aviation. Now I set this all up when I uh, downloaded my first aviation video so I don't have to recreate a video I mean a, a folder rather uh, under the Plex media server before I upload this. It's already there so all I gotta do is select it. So when I select it uh, you can see how fast it copied um, that file. It's 125 megabytes. It copied it extremely fast. It's gone from the downloads folder, and where it is located now is in the media folder, um, videos folder, aviation subfolder. Okay, and so let's go back here, and uh, if I go down to videos aviation, and over here to where the double dot, triple dots are, and if I select it and say scan library files. All right, so it should uh, bring that into this area. So let me see if I can find it. It's called the Shuttle. Um, I'll see it. I'll recognize it when I get it. Shuttle Atlantis. Here it is. And so I'm going to go ahead and click it. Shuttle Atlantis STS-132, amazing shuttle launch experience. And then if I click this button here, it loads it up. Seems like it's having a little bit of trouble for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, it's not responding. So let me go ahead and close it. Let's close the program. It's the first time it's done this. Not sure why it's doing that. Probably because I'm creating this video. That's why. So let me do that again. Now let me go back out to the Flex Media server. And uh, let's fire it up again. So it actually crashed the whole. Well, actually, I still had it up over here, but I'm going to go ahead and close it. Um, 
there's a new interface to it. Probably just got an update to Flex Media, so this is probably why I did it. So I'm going to collect that. Then I've got a four-digit uh, pin code that I need to put in. Put in the right pin code, brings it up, and I'm back into um, this area again. Here it is. I'm not going to go surfing for it because it's just recently added. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, and there it is. I'm going to go ahead and select it there. So it brought it up. And so it's playing now, okay? And if I want to go to full screen, let's go to full screen here, and then let go of the mouse. Quiet morning for tanking. No issues that the team's working. Weather is set. Okay, so that's the Plex Media server. Um, and I can watch this on the big screen. I'm actually watching it right now on my monitor. Got a big uh, 1920 by 1080 widescreen monitor, and I use that as my uh, Plex Media server uh, player uh, when I'm not watching something on the big screen. Uh, the quality of that video, as you notice, wasn't wasn't all that great, uh, but that's okay. I've got some really good quality videos, um, you know, that I could show you, I guess. But I just wanted to show you the Shuttle Atlantis one uh, because that one's a NASA video. It should be okay to play that one on the, on the web. Um, when I upload this video to YouTube, should not get any copyright uh, problems. But anyway, so this is Plex Media Server. Um, if I do a down arrow there, it takes me back to the uh, this area here. And if I go across to Home, um, it takes me to the main screen here. Uh, if I go back, it takes me back to that again. And then I've got a bunch of things up here. I've got Activity. I've got one video loaded. Uh, here's my settings. Uh, web client settings that I have here um, and then my account I've got users under that account I've got two users and I can switch user if I want and under the account I can click that get into the account section um, so there there I am there okay I've got my email address and my passwords embedded and protected so you can't see it um, but this is the Plex media server I really like it um, Really plays well on the big screen, and uh, I've got a little small, smaller screen smart TV upstairs. I'm going to log out of this uh, that I use all the time. And um, so, Plex Media Server is uh, something you might want to look at uh, setting up for yourself in your home. Here, I've got it running in Windows 10, but you can run it in uh, Linux. Um, I believe. Uh, uh, that uh, Backyard Tech runs his uh, probably in uh, Debian Linux, if I had to guess, um, or a KDE uh, spin or distro that he runs his on in his home. Really, He really likes it as well. He turned me on to it, like I said, a few, almost a year ago now, a little over a year ago, I guess. And I've been using Flex Media Server now for that whole time and really love it. So anyway, get Flex Media Server. Uh, you'll enjoy it. Have a good day. Take care.